Today's video will be delving into the various methods to remediate contaminated soils. Soil pollution is a serious problem that affects ecosystems, agriculture, and human health. Thankfully, several innovative methods can help clean contaminated soils and restore them for sustainable use. Let's take a closer look at some of the most effective soil remediation techniques. First, bioremediation. This method uses microorganisms to break down pollutants into less harmful substances. For example, in situ techniques like bioventing and biosparging are effective for deep soil layers contaminated with petroleum products. Bioventing adds oxygen to the soil to stimulate microbial activity, while biosparging injects air and nutrients to speed up the breakdown process. For surface contamination, plants like mustard greens are used in phytoextraction to absorb heavy metals such as lead and chromium. These plants turn contaminants into harvestable biomass that can be safely removed. Next, phytoremediation. This technique involves plants to clean the soil. Plants with deep roots, like poplar trees, can stabilize contaminants and reduce soil erosion. Another example is rhizodegradation, where plants enhance microbial activity in the root zone, helping break down pollutants more effectively. Then, there is soil washing. This process physically separates contaminants from soil particles using water and chemical agents. It's particularly effective for removing heavy metals and hydrophobic organic pollutants, allowing the treated soil to be reused. Finally, thermal desorption. This is an ex situ method that heats contaminated soil to high temperatures, turning pollutants into vapors that can be captured and treated. Although energy intensive, thermal desorption is highly effective for dealing with persistent organic pollutants and hydrocarbons. Often, combining these techniques produces the best results. For example, soil washing can be followed by bioremediation to clean up any remaining contaminants. These methods not only restore polluted soils, but also protect ecosystems and ensure the land can be used sustainably for future generations.